Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I've had about five minutes, um, not even to read these tweets yet. They just came out and I got to read them because I don't even follow Citadel Securities. I literally typed in Citadel right now just to see what they had to say and they're doing it again. They're putting their foot in their mouth and they're not smart enough to shut up. Guys, I'm not here to educate you on the legal system, but I promise you, you ever get arrested, don't say a word. The guy who talks is dumb. He's giving out too much information. Any lawyer will tell you that. I don't know if these guys are lawyered up yet. I don't, well, they should have. Come on, they have in-house in -house legal team. But come on. Really, guys? You guys are out here battling it on Twitter, and you think you're going to win this battle? You're up against thousands of people right now. Thousands of people. Not, I mean, there's millions, but there's thousands of people you're up against when you tweet, and people have access to the tweet. So a lot of you guys are familiar with this, and I'm going to explain it to you guys. Uh, yesterday, if you guys don't know what happened, they went ahead and finally, remember, January 21st was their last tweet, um, January 26th, I'm sorry, January 26th was their last tweet, then they started tweeting yesterday, because we all know what was trending, Ken Griffin lied, and you know he's up, going to be up for perjury at that point, because we all saw the transcripts, now, Citadel Securities, here's how dumb they are, they decided to come on out and say it like this, Citadel Securities did not ask Robin Hood or any other firm to restrict or limit trading activity on January the 27th. Do you get that? How specific they are on the date and what they did? They didn't ask them to limit? Oh no, what did they ask them to do? Disable? Is that is that a word they can say? Because they didn't limit, they didn't restrict. How about they just totally disable? Is that a word we can use? We're using choice words here. We're using colorful timelines too. Well, how about How about this? Did uh, Robin Hood or any other firm call, have a contact with you on the 26th? And maybe you gave them a word. You said, hey, when it gets up to this point, cut it off because we can't do it. I mean, go look. They have liquidity issues. And then apparently you guys don't want things ex executed. Ken Griffin and Vlad have never, and they put it in caps because that matters to me, met or spoken. So now we have to have, you know what this is, guys? Plausible deniability. Now we have to have the two head honchos talking, right? Because it could be a conversation between a, a C-level guy or a B-level guy or a different guy to tell the other guys what to do. You think that they want to know what you're doing? It's kind of when you say, hey, clean, hey, get rid of that body. I don't want to see it. I don't, don't tell me how you did it. I don't want to know. I've seen mob movies, bro. This is the average, everyday mob movie happening right in front of you. But they want to put it out there. Guys. Citadel Securities, you're not too bright. You keep typing, and for whatever reason. When asked whether Citadel Securities requested that Robinhood restrict trading, Ken Griffin truthfully told Congress, let me be perfectly clear, absolutely not. Oh, and then they want to link the video. And hey, let me help you guys out, jokers. I got a dude named Bill Clinton, William Jefferson Clinton. You know what Bill Clinton did, bro? Bill Clinton said, um, I did not have sexual relations with that like, with that woman. Sexual relations. And then he came out to say his definition of sexual relations is different than yours. That's, that's what's being said right now. Do you understand what I'm telling you? When the President of the United States can lie under oath, but word twist it, what makes you think I'm going to believe this dude saying, let me be perfectly clear, absolutely not. I don't believe anything this guy says under oath. No way. Nothing. But you know what? I would have left it there. I wouldn't even be making this video. I had a different video loaded, guys. I literally made a video of an update about GameStop, AMC. I'm right there. Guys, the charts are the same, identical today. Let me just give it to you real quick. Identical charts today. The streams ran the same. Everything ran the same. Uh, you know, whatever. The algos are doing it again. The volume on AMC was at 30, 39 million shares traded back and forth. AM, uh, GME shares were at 1.76 million shares traded back and forth. You know, volume's low, whatever. But hey, they're moving the same. But hey, there's nothing to see here. But now these are all the new tweets here. This is stuff I have not even read, guys. I haven't even read the tweet. But imagine how I feel. Imagine how I feel right now. It must frustrate the conspiracy theorists. There you go, discrediting anyone that says anything about you. You're calling them conspiracy theorists. That's what we are? That's what we are to you? That's the disrespect? To end, uh, the conspiracy theorist, to end that Vlad and I have never texted. Oh, so this is Ken Griffin really texting in, in, in whatever, in real time. Vlad and I have never texted, called, or met each other. 
But I must say, kudos to Vlad and his team at Robin Hood for the remarkable success story. What a slap in the face. What a not... I mean, this guy is so out of touch with reality. I'm starting to think he doesn't even follow the market. He definitely doesn't have a temperature on what, what retail feels or how, what's our discomfort on all levels. To congratulate him, to say kudos, what you guys got past this, your success story of what, going public, of the crypto manipulation that they do daily, what are we congratulating them on? But you, you think you're scot-free. You think you can make this comment and it's okay. Let's go up to the next one. Citadel, are you still typing in, in, in Vlad's words? Or, I mean, I'm sorry, in King Griffin's words? I don't know, but here. We'll just keep it simple for you guys. We'll go to the top of this thread. There are those who still refuse to believe an American landed on the moon. Really? That's what you're comparing? A 60-year-old folktale that had bad cameras and bad lighting where the astronauts themselves have doubted. <laughs> they didn't doubt that they ever went, but one even said it never happened, like Buzz. But you must have forgot that, right? Buzz Aldrin. But let's see. Internet conspiracy uh, conspiracies and Twitter mobs try to ignore the facts. But the fact is that Citadel Securities was a preeminent market maker uh, to the retail brokerage community in January 2021. So let me get this right. Because you manipulate markets and only the fact that because it's fast, right? Payment for order flow that comes your way, but that you can execute the trades fast. You feel you're entitled to say whatever you want. You can just basically tell us to shut up and go to the corner. That's it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Just you, you remind me of the people in public that say they could talk to the police any way they want to because they pay taxes. There is an authoritative figure here. And in this case, it's the people. I just telling you right now, it's the retail investors. When I look at this, it's absolutely ridiculous. Citadel Securities never requested, intimidated, agreed or otherwise sought to limit or restrict the trading of such securities on January the 27th. <laughs> we'll say it again. We're doing the date again. OK, we executed an astonishing 7.4 uh, 7 billion shares on behalf of retail investors. An astonishing 7.4. You don't think it would have been more? So who, let me ask you something, Citadel. And you'll never see this video. Maybe you will. Well, then who halted the button? Who restricted retail from buying? If it wasn't you, if you're, there's no collusion, who did it? Are you blaming Robin Hood? Because if you are, if you're saying it was them, you're pointing the finger, well, then why the hell are you congratulating them? I don't understand. I'm on the other side of this coin here. Explain it to me. How could you congratulate the guys who are giving you the grief? You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the grief. Oh, I know. I'm supposed to see the thread. We're proud of the important role we play. We have uh, we have long played in making U.S. financial markets fair, transparent, resilient, and the envy of the world. I promise you, your market making is not the envy of the world. You might think so. You might be giving yourself a pat on the back. I don't have to read other people's ideas and thoughts. I have my own. I'm doing them right here in real time. I'm literally reading this to you for the first time in my whole life. Conspiracy theorists and plaintiffs. Lawyers are trying to court uh, an absurd story from regular way communications among Citadel Securities and the brokers who handle orders for retail investors. You think they're trying to create a way, a, a, an absurd story? No, maybe maybe they can connect dots that you can't. Maybe, maybe you didn't commit the perfect crime. Maybe you left crumbs on the table, which you did. Of course, the teams at Citadel Securities and our counterparties are in constant communication to meet the needs of the retail investing community. So yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. So what is it? Did you communicate or did you not communicate? Do you talk to them or don't you? Oh, you talk to them every day, right? But not on the 27th because you didn't say those words. No, who's going to blame who? Who wants to go to prison first? You or Vlad? Pick one because guess what? One's turning on the other. You guys all think you can hold hands and stay quiet? Ask Steve Cohen. He did, the, he did some nonsense before, and guess what? He got banned for two years. I know, it's a, it's a small price to pay. Not this time. You're not just going to get suspended from using other people's money. That's not what's happening here. Against the backdrop of a global pandemic, amid the unprecedented surge in retail trading and engagement, our respective teams made sure that the operational demands were, were addressed and that retail investors had access 
to Citadel Security Superior Execution Capabilities. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. You're telling me there's a surge that you can't you you can't keep in, I don't know, how can I say it? You can't keep up with it? You had to talk to them every day to make sure, just to make sure you guys were giving up the best service. That's that's your excuse. That it was the pandemic that pushed so many people, the surge. Do you know what a surge is? I'm going to explain a surge to you, Citadel. It is January 28th, all the way through to March. You know how many... Do you know how many accounts were open on Robinhood and Fidelity in that time frame? And that quarter of the year, from, from February, March, and April, the most accounts they've ever opened. You thought you had a surge on one day in January? That was, that was what you're talking about? You're in constant communication? No. No. You were never ready. You were never ready for retail investors to... Uh, you know, to be on this side of the table, but to expose what's going on. The more deep we keep digging, the more we keep going at it, we keep looking for you. This is wild. Absolutely. I'm happy I stumbled onto this page. I'm happy I clicked on it. You're never going to change my mind. And I'm never going to sell my shares. The word is never. I'm never going to sell my shares at the price you think they're worth. It's the price I think they're worth. And everyone out there, I don't care what you own. I don't care if you're AMC. I don't care if you're GME. I don't care if you're RKT. I don't care what you own. Understand what you have. You have time. And they don't. Time's almost up, Kenny boy. And I'll see you and the Jets real soon. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'll see you around, millionaires.